Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a donkey. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the front part of the body. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. To the right, draw another circle as a guide for the back portion of the body. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. Draw the two circles roughly the same size. Don't place the circles too far apart or the body will be too long. On the top left side, draw another circle as a guide for the head. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle as well. Draw this circle about half the size of the first circle. Don't place the head circle too far away from the first circle. On the bottom left side of the head, make a small mark for the first part of the muzzle. Connect the small mark to the head using curved lines to finish the guide for the muzzle. This guide should be similar to an upside down arc. Pay attention to the size of the muzzle in relation to the head. Draw a long sloping line across the entire head as a guide to help you place the facial features later on. On top of the head, draw a small arc as a guide for the ear. Make this arc long and thin. Under the first circle, draw a long angled line as a guide for the front leg. Bend the line a couple of times to indicate the joints. Pay attention to the length of the line in relation to the body. To the right, draw a vertical line as a guide for the other front leg. Bend the line slightly at the bottom to indicate a joint. Draw a long angled line under the circle on the right as a guide for the hind leg. Bend the line a couple of times to indicate the joints. To the left, draw another long angled line as a guide for the other hind leg. Bend this line near the middle. Connect the head to the body using sloping lines to create the guide for the neck. Make the shape of the neck wide. Connect the body circles using longer lines to finish the guide for the torso. Curve the lines slightly. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the head, lightly sketch a small oval for the eye. Place the eye to the left of the construction guide and close to the top edge of the muzzle. When you get the size and position of the eye right, darken the shape. Make the sides of the shape point here for the corners of the eye. Draw a thin shape at the top of the eye for the eyelashes. Inside the eye, off to the side, draw a tiny circle for a highlight. In the middle of the eye, draw an oval and shade it in for the pupil. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circle as you shade the pupil. Add a few short strokes above the eye for a furry texture. Draw a couple of curved lines around the eye for creases. Near the tip of the muzzle, draw a short curved line for the nostril. Close off the shape so that it's similar to an oval. Shade in the inside of the shape for the nostril's opening. 
add a few curved lines for the outer structure of the nostril. Use the initial arc as a guide to draw the rest of the muzzle. Follow the basic path of the guide as you draw the shape of the muzzle. Curve the front of the shape to create the upper lip. Near the bottom, curve the line to the right to create the mouth. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. Draw a couple more lines under the mouth for the rest of the muzzle. Curve the lines to create the lower lip and chin. Use the arc at the top as a guide to draw the ear. Darken the basic path of the guide but make the top point here. Draw a line inside the shape for the ear's opening. Add a few short strokes on the left side for the fur that's inside the ear. The bottom of the ear should be inside the head. To the left, draw a similar shape for the other ear. Only the left edge of this ear will be visible from this angle. Use a series of short strokes on the left side for the fur inside the ear. Use the initial shapes as guides to draw the rest of the head. Darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the head. Curve the bottom line upward to create the lower jaw. Add a few lines inside the head to emphasize the structure. Draw a curved line at the bottom to define the lower jaw. Use the long angled line on the bottom left side of the body as a guide to draw the front leg. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Keep the edges of the leg close to the guideline so that the overall shape is thin. Curve the lines where the shape bends to emphasize the joints. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. The top of the leg should be inside the body. At the bottom, draw a small square-like shape for the hoof. Make the bottom of the hoof flat. The section above the hoof should be thin. Use the line to the right as a guide to draw the other front leg. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Bend the bottom of the shape to the left to indicate the hoof. Use small curved lines where the shape bends to create the joints. Draw a small square-like shape at the bottom for the hoof. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Use the long angled line on the far right side as a guide to draw the hind leg. Just like with the front legs, first lightly sketch the shape of the hind leg around the guideline. Make the top of the leg wide and then gradually make the shape thinner toward the bottom. Curve the shape along the path of the guide to create the joints. The bottom half of the leg should be thin. Draw a small square-like shape at the bottom for the hoof. When you get the shape of the hind leg right, darken the lines. Use curved lines to emphasize the shapes of the joints. Make the bottom of the hoof flat. Use the angled line to the left as a guide to draw the other hind leg the same way. Lightly sketch the leg around the guide and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. Curve the lines to create the joints and draw a small square-like shape at the bottom for the hoof. 
Make the section above the hoof thin. Use the remaining shapes and lines as guides to draw the rest of the body. Simply darken the outer edges of the guides to create the shape of the body. Don't overlap the legs that are on this side of the body as you draw the underside. On the right side, draw two short vertical lines for the tail. At the bottom of the tail, draw a small curved shape for the hair on the tail. Use short strokes at the bottom to emphasize the hair on the tail. Draw a sloping line on top of the neck to create the mane. Draw the line using a series of short strokes for the bristle-like texture. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Use a medium value to shade the entire body. Leave the area around the eye and the front of the muzzle blank for the white fur. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. Push down very lightly on your pencil for light values, then push down harder for darker values. Donkeys can have different coat patterns, so you can shade your drawing differently if you'd like. Use a darker value inside the eye. Don't overlap the tiny highlight circle as you shade the eye. Add a darker value throughout the body to create shadows. Shadows will give the figure more dimension and volume. Pick a light source as you shade so that the shadows are consistent throughout the body. Here the light source is coming from the top, so most of the shadows will be on the underside of the shapes. Use a dark value for the tip of the tail and the mane. Add a cast shadow at the bottom using a medium value. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the donkey. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.